We're getting up close and personal today. Okay, maybe not that close. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Cezanne, and thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you guys my skincare routine. I think when it comes to skincare, the most important thing is, is to know your skin type. So I'm gonna go through this video, and while I'm sharing my products, I'm gonna also give you guys some helpful tips that I've learned over the years. Let's do this. So my skin type is actually pretty normal to dry. Um, I tend to get a little bit oily around my T-zone, but other than that, I have pretty normal skin. The cleanser that I use for my skin is by Cetaphil. You can seriously get this at CVS, you guys, for like $13. Ever since I went to the dermatologist as a teenager, they recommended that I use this cleanser, and it's, it's just worked really well for me. However, this isn't an exfoliator, so just keep that in mind. So if you're looking for an exfoliator, what I use is um, from Kiehl's. This is actually a men's product. Oops, don't judge me. You know what, sometimes the guys have better stuff. Like, I love men's razors, and I love this exfoliator from Kiehl's. I know it's for the fellas, but ladies, you can use it too. It won't make you smell like a guy, I promise. So the older I'm getting, the more I am starting to notice a little bit of wrinkle action happening under my eyes. That's not okay, seriously. Trust me, I have them, look. You can kind of tell. I mean, I put like black eyeliner underneath so you can tell, but you know. This is actually a new product I've been using. It's an under eye cream. It's from Revive and literally it will revive your eyes. It's not too greasy, which I like, and it sits really well underneath my makeup before I put my makeup on. Fun little story. I was getting a lot of blackheads recently, like on my skin, and I wasn't getting why. Like I hadn't been breaking out for a while and I was like, why do I keep getting blackheads? I exfoliate, I cleanse my face, what's the deal skin? I realized it was because I wasn't using a toner on my skin after I cleansed. And honestly, I never even knew what a toner was, but I'm starting to learn exactly what it is. It prevents those blackheads from popping out. I'm actually using this one from Neutrogena. It's a pore minimizing toner. So ever since I've been using this product, I live by it religiously. I have not not noticed any blackheads on my face and this is a miracle because you guys know me I love putting my makeup on and you know makeup sometimes is the reason why your pores can get clogged as you guys know and so this toner really oops I dropped it this toner really helps me strip it all off and I never thought that I would find something at CVS that could be this amazing Woo -woo! that's like two so far from CVS Go CVS. So on to the moisturizer. I am very picky when it comes to my moisturizer. If I get a moisturizer that's too thick and it's gonna look greasy underneath my makeup, that ruins basically my whole makeup look. So I've been using this moisturizer right here from Borghese. I hope I said that right. So I, I put this on after I put the toner on and I just apply it to my neck and my face. Um, it's an age-defying cellular complex moisturizer. What in the world does that mean? I don't know, but it works really well on your skin. I love it so much, and it's a little bit more pricey than what typical skincare products at Target would cost, but it's worth it. Totally recommend this, I use it all the time. And when you're putting on your moisturizer, always go up, not down. At the end of the day, you want your skin to be lifted. You don't want to bring it down, so um, defy gravity with this right here. Got it actually at Target, it's from their um, luxury skincare line that they have going on and I've been hooked on it ever since. So fun fact, I've never actually gotten a facial before. I don't know if it's because I'm just kind of picky with people touching my face, it's kind of weird, or if it's because I found an at-home facial routine that has worked amazing for me for years. This is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay Mask, it's from Whole Foods. Hey, oops, I dropped some. So it starts as a powder, and what you do is you pour maybe like a teaspoon into like a little bowl, and I have a little paintbrush that I use, and I mix it with apple cider vinegar. I know, it sounds so gross, and trust me, it smells so gross too, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So just pour a tablespoon of this into the mix, and apply it to your face. Let it dry up for like 15 minutes. Your face is gonna feel as hard as a shell, but then as soon as you wash it off, you are going to feel an entire layer of your skin removed. I know that sounds really painful, but it's not, I promise. So it's gonna leave your face feeling instantly smooth, soft, blackhead free, and it's something that I like to do at least a couple of times per month. I don't do it a lot just because I'm 
I'm so busy now, I forget. But if you can do this once a week, I mean, you can just cut out the exfoliating scrub and just do this. It's amazing and it's natural, which I'm a huge fan of. There you have it. That was my skincare routine. I hope this video gave you guys a little bit more insight into my skin life. Um, definitely sound off in the comments and let me know if you guys have tried any of these products or if you are just in love with a specific product that you want to share. I love reading all about it. So definitely sound off and let me know what you think. Until next time, mwah, mwah. Bye guys. That's bringing me to an end here. Um, some new products that I recently got that I'm excited to try um, are Sephora has these fun little mask sets. Hold on. Who is that? I have a phone call.